Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's do an example of how to calculate or how to find the Norton equivalent circuit of this particular example here. We have a 2 amp source, an 8 volt voltage source, an 8 ohm resistor in, in series with the voltage source and another 16 ohm resistor and then we have terminals A and B to which we're going to connect some load resistor. To find the current through the low resistor we need to find the Norton's current and the Norton's resistance so that the load current is equal to this equation right there. So the question is how do we find Norton's current and Norton's resistance for the equivalent circuit that looks like this. Well starting out with the Norton's resistance R sub n it turns out that it's equal to the Thevenin's resistance. We use the exact same method to find the equivalent resistance. Remember that with Thevenin's resistance we had it in series with the voltage source. In this case we're going to have the Norton's resistance in parallel with the current source. To find the Thevenin resistance or the Norton resistance we take the circuit here, we remove any current sources and we drop the voltage across the voltage source to zero. That means we get the following circuit. We'll have an open right here where the current source normally goes, the 8 ohm resistance, the voltage source goes to zero so we can just skip that and then we have the 16 ohm resistor there, 8 ohms, 16 ohms, here we have terminal A and terminal B. We leave it open and the resistance, the Norton resistance can be found by simply measuring the resistance between A and B which in essence will simply be the sum of these two resistors. R sub n will be equal to 8 ohms plus 16 ohms which is 24 ohms. Now they have the Norton resistance let's find the Norton current. To get that what we need to do is take the original circuit so let's redraw that. Here's the 2 amp source, the 8 ohm resistor, the 12 volt, oh, not 12 volt, it's 8 volt voltage source, this is an 8 ohm resistor, this is a 2 amp current source, we have the 16 ohm resistor here, terminal A and terminal B. To find the Norton current we have to short out the terminals A and B. And then whatever current we will have between A and B that will become Norton current. How do we find that? Well simply we're going to add up the voltages around each loop except for the first loop we can imagine that the current around the first loop is going to be equal to the 2 amp source. So this is I1 we can say that I1 must equal 2 amps. But now we're going to add up the voltages around loop 2 assuming that we have a current I2 flowing through loop 2. Now notice that I2 will be equal to I sub n. So all we have to do here is find I2. We're going to sum up the voltages, sum up the voltages around loop 2 and that is equal to starting from this point that's plus 8 volts minus the voltage drop across this resistor which would be minus the resistance times the current I2. However there's also an I1 current flowing here and we're going against the current against I1 that's a voltage rise plus 8 ohms times I1. Then going around the corner we go across this resistor that's with the current I2 therefore that's a voltage drop minus 16 times I2 and then we go all the way around get back to where we started that adds up to zero. Now knowing that I1 is equal to 2 amps I can replace this by 2 so we get 8 minus 8 I2 plus 8 times I1 which is 2 amps minus 16 I2 equals 0. Moving all my I2s to the other side I have a minus 8 minus 16 that's minus 24 well when I move to the other side I get plus 24 so let me go up here. So we have on one side a positive 24 I2 equals and on the other side we have 8 plus 16 which is 24 therefore I2 equals 24 divided by 24 which is equal to 1 amp. So now we have Norton's resistance which is right here 24 ohms and Norton's current which is 1 amp. I can now plug those values into my original equation to calculate the current through my load resistor. I sub L the current through the load is equal to I sub N which is 1 amp times the ratio of R sub N which we said was 24 ohms divided by 24 ohms plus whatever the load resistor is. 
All we have to do now is to find out what the current is through the low resistor by plugging in a particular value. But this is how we find the equivalent Norton circuit. We need to find the equivalent current and the equivalent resistance for the Norton circuit, Norton equivalent circuit. We find the equivalent resistance by removing any current sources and dropping any voltage sources to zero and then find the resistance across the two terminals. To find the Norton current, we're going to leave everything intact. We're simply going to short out the terminals between A and B and figure out what the current is through that part of the circuit to the short and that will then be the Norton's current. And that's how we find the equivalent circuit and that's how we find the current through the load resistor. That's how it's done.